Okay, so in this video, we're going to tackle an AQA GCSE chemistry past paper question involving a titration calculation, okay? So pause the video, perfect revision for you guys. Pause the video, attempt the question yourself, then see what you get. Hopefully you get the same answers as me. Now, if you don't, that's completely fine. Just keep practicing these calculation questions, okay? So let's jump straight into this then. So a student titrated 25 centimeter cubed portions of dilute sulfuric acid with a 0.105 moles per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, and we have a table of all this data here, all these titration volumes, and we've given an equation here, two moles of sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid and it gives us these products. We have to calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid in moles per decimeter cubed. We use only the student's concordant results. Concordant results are those within 0.1 centimeters cubed. So fortunately, AQA has been kind to us here and they've told us what concordant results are. If you weren't aware, that's exactly what it is, okay? So when we're working out our mean or average theta or titration volume, it's always going to only include the concordant results. So out of these five results, which ones do you think would we include in the mean theta or the average theta volume? Okay, so it's just going to be titration three, four, and five, because those are the only ones which are within 0.1 centimeters cubed. So what I'm going to do is just say our mean theta equals, or average theta equals 22.1 plus 22.15 plus 22.15 divided by three. Okay, easy as that, guys. And that's going to give us an average theta or mean theta of 22.13 centimeters cubed. All right, it's very important to note in all these mole calculation or titration questions, the standard units for concentration in chemistry is moles per decimeter cubed. But our apparatus, so the burette, the pipettes, etc., all have their volume to the unit of centimeters cubed. So we have to convert that by dividing by a thousand, okay? This is incredibly common. It's gonna come up in every single mole calculation question. So really get familiar with that and you'll be gaining marks all over the place, okay? So next up is our calculation here. So what you want to do is you want to work out the moles of the substance they've given us variables for, okay? So hopefully you remember your mole calculations at this point, okay? Our mole calculations is moles equals concentration times volume. The other one is moles equals mass over molar mass, or you may see it called relative molecular mass, relative formula mass, and so on, okay? Now, in titration questions, because it involves a concentration of a solution and a volume of a solution, primarily we're going to be using this, this equation right here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that right now. So what is the variables that they've given us in the question? Okay, so we just worked out our mean theta. Okay, our mean theta is the volume of sodium hydroxide. So we have a volume right there, so we can tick that off right here on the equation. Next up, concentration. Okay, do we have a concentration of our sodium hydroxide? Yes, okay, that was given to us in the question, so we can just write that out put the, your variables in the calculator and it will give us the moles of sodium hydroxide. That's going to be our concentration, so 0 0.105 multiplied by our volume, which is 22.13. However, like I said, we have to convert this, so you're gonna have to divide that by a thousand, all right? Now, if you just chuck that in your calculator, you should get an answer of 0 0.002324, and that's mole, okay? Now, we don't actually care about the sodium hydroxide because they've asked us to calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid. So how does this help us? Okay, now in all these titration questions, mole calculation questions, take a look at the equation that they've given us. They've given us this equation for a reason. It's not on the page just because AQA felt like it. It's there for a purpose, okay? So let's examine the, what we refer to as the mole ratios. Okay, between the sodium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid, you want to look at this number in front of the compound, okay? This is referred to as the molar coefficient, and this allows us to determine the ratio in which these two reactants react together. It can also include products as well. You can use it to look at products, but in this case, we are only concerned with the sodium hydroxide and the sulfuric acid. So what ratio is this reacting in then? 
Exactly, so it's a two to one reaction. So whichever moles we have of sodium hydroxide, which we calculated right here, all we have to do to determine the moles of sulfuric acid is divide that value by two because it reacts in a two to one ratio. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you've got the fundamentals of mole calculations down. If not, just keep practicing. And what we're going to do is moles of sulfuric acid equals this value right here, the 0 0.002324 divided by 2, okay? And that's just going to give us an answer of 0 0.001162 mole. Okay, so it's as easy as that, guys. Now we've got the moles, that would be step one, is work out the moles of the variables they've given us, which was our sodium hydroxide. Then we use the mole ratios to determine the moles of something we're actually looking for. So in this case, the sulfuric acid. Now what we can do is we can actually go back to our mole calculation, this moles equals CV, rearrange it to make concentration the subject, which is what we're concerned with. So if we rearrange this, it's gonna be concentration. If we wanna make this a subject, we have to divide both sides by volume. So this is gonna go on the other side. So it's gonna be moles divided by volume, okay? If, you, if you're not too good with uh, rearranging, um, just use the equation triangles, okay? So N equals CV, rearrange this, whichever this is, you have, um, if it's above, it's divide, if it's next to, it's multiplied. Okay, simple as that. Just practice, get, get familiar with it, and you, I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do here then is then say our concentration of our sulfuric acid is going to equal our moles, which we just calculated right here, 0 0.001162 divided by our volume. Okay, so what is our volume here? Now they actually told us in the question, they titrated 25 centimeter cube portions of the sulfuric acid. So I'm gonna put 25 here. Now, is that all we're going to do? No, remember, centimeters cubed needs to be converted into decimeters cubed because that's what we're concerned with in our concentration units. So I'm going to do it again, divide by 1000, put that in brackets. Now, if you put that in your calculator, you should get an answer of 0 0.0465. And that's in moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, this right here is exactly the same thing as moles per decimeter cubed. So yeah, sorry if I confused you there. 0 0.0465 would be our final answer, okay? So where are we picking up marks here then? So ultimately, we're going to get all five marks if we get the correct answer here. But if you don't get the correct answer, it's incredibly important to show you're working, okay? Just like in maths. So the first point will be for our mean theta or our average theta, working out that value from the table. Our next marks is going to be for the moles of sodium hydroxide, the moles of sulfuric acid, and then converting that into the concentration of sulfuric acid. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys out there. Like the video if it was, subscribe for future science and maths content. Best of luck in your exams, guys. Peace.